For our A finalists, in uh, lane one, we have Matthew Coughlin from Kingfish, Rhode Island. In lane two, Chase Constantacos from Bluefish Swim Club. In lane three, Dylan Webby from Bluefish Swim Club. In lane four, Dean Spicer from Weymouth Club Waves, our top qualifier this evening. In lane five, Dimitri Gaunt from Kingfish, Rhode Island. In lane six, Colton Parkinson, a Bluefish Swim Club. And at the top of your screen, in lane seven, Tyler Rothke from West Encock, Nantucket Swimming. All right, so here we go in this A final. Spicer, your top seed this morning. 455, 6 0, and off to a quick start. Up in six, Parkinson. As the heat hits the wall together, and down in lane two, Chase Constantakos. He's the early leader. Constantacos is looking good at that first 50. Dean Spicer has been a power in New England for a long time. At one point he was uh, very, very fast. I think one of the fastest distance swimmers uh, in New England. He broke his leg and recovered. Boy, Constantacos is looking very aggressive in the water. And I like that beard. You know what I noticed about Constantacos? His name barely fits on his cap. So, so, so it's a, you know what they call Constantacos? What? Taco. That's his nickname. It's a very common world. nickname, I feel like. Yeah. Well, especially if your name is Constant Tacos. I mean, it's right there. That's fair. That's fair. Constant Tacos, 16 years old. Also a very impressive beard for a 16-year-old. I don't know if I could grow that, and I'm older than that. And for those of you watching online, Constant Tacos is in lane two at the bottom, near the bottom of your screen. Coming on there, Dean Spicer, Waymount Club Waves. He has picked up the base, and he outsplit Constantacos by seven tenths of a second on that 50. And Spicer in lane five is looking very smooth indeed. Actually, no, he's in lane four, isn't he? I'm sorry. Boy, he, he caught right up to Constantacos. He did. A little smoother at the beginning, and you just wonder if Constantacos has anything left in the tank here as he's out split by a full second on that 50. Con uh, he, Spicer, I should say, is moving right now. Halfway split, 223-46 for the leader, Spicer. Constantacos, 4100 is behind, but falling further behind in lane two. Spicer had a very nice, did very nice walls and turns. I like how he uh, surfaces uh, and the, uh, he breathes on that second stroke underneath the flags each time. Very smooth, very fast. Nice streamlining. Constantacos is uh, still working his power stroke. As long as he can keep kicking, he'll still have a nice uh, fast looks, swim to this evening, I think. Sorry, Vern, he still looks so smooth. Spicer, that is. And still out split, he's pulling away. Now the challenge is coming 
It's Roth Cup in lane seven and Parkinson in six. Maybe trying to make a run at Constant Tacos with 100 yards to go. But this is all lane number four, Dean Spicer. He's getting the bell. He's winning this race, going away. Boy, Spicer makes this all look easy, but you can tell by those he does. shoulders that he is in oxygen debt. Well, at this point in the race, everyone is. In our last seat of the 500 of the night, Dean Spicer from Weymouth Club Waves will win the 500 free. Chase Constant Tacos will finish second in a battle for third. Parkinson, Rothke, who's going to get third up there in lane six? It's going to be Colton Parkinson, who picks up third here. Spicer, 450.13. Constant Tacos, 452.84. And Rothke, 456.29. Nice swimming, boys.